Hey Zalee, this is Super Summer God Barbecue, and we have some really, really big news. This has literally just come out. I know a lot of you are probably sleeping at the moment, so when you get up, you're going to see this. I was just editing the Road to Glory finale for today's video. You guys are really lucky. You're getting a video now. You're going to get the throwback finishes, which I've, only, I've done the first one. I've got to do the second one still. But you're going to get those tomorrow. And you're going to get the Road to Glory finale as well. So this is really big. But the biggest news that is coming out recently, and I've not been around to actually report this, is actually two bits of really big news. The first is that we are going to have a Teams RTG for a Diva next week. That's right, Charlotte is going it's the bit it's the best diva in the game actually technically uh the best diva available and this is making me think fusions are coming so don't get too excited because give it a couple of weeks and the cards be useless i'm telling you this now give it another ring domination maybe a one event after that and then it is fusion time guys i'm telling you that now before the next pcc i guarantee we'll have fusions or something different in the game but as well as that, we are saying not just hello to one event, but goodbye to another. Teams PCC is kaput for now. They have killed it. They have removed it from the schedule. And the reason why they've done that is apparently because the event just had too many problems. It had too many issues. The difficulty was too hard for the guys at the top. It was too easy for the guys at the bottom. People were spending money. And it was just ended up becoming a massive mess. So those are two huge bits of news. You've also got Ring Domination coming next week. I'm sure we're going to have something. But the fact that Charlotte and the game is now starting to get give away Divas makes me think either the next event is going to be the next Diva event is going to be a PCC at some point. Or it could even be this, road, this uh, Ring Domination. We get ourselves a Diva. Let me know what you think in the comments section below about the things that have happened in the most recent past in Supercard. Let me know what you think on about uh, the choice of D.Va. Should they have chosen a lower kind of D.Va? Maybe one, like, I don't know, Becky Lynch because she's in that feud. Uh, Becky Lynch would, in my opinion, be the better choice because she's not ridiculously overpowered and can be beaten by others. For a lot of people, this is going to make their first D.Va Pro or their second D.Va Pro. Me and the guys in the team, and I am going to be staying, just to let you guys know, I am going to be staying in Forever Smug for this event, because I feel I need, I want to, I want to, and it's not necessarily a need, but I want to, I want to get to these guys, some of these guys have not got Survivor Divas, and I feel like joining a team that you've got people who've got Survivor Divas all over the place and Survivor Divas pros isn't going to help. So I've made a decision. I'm going to stick with Forever Smug and I'm going to hopefully get Luigi and some of the others. Damn, Xavier Woods is going to have a Survivor Diva before pretty much most people. It's crazy. So let me know what you think. Charlotte, Teams RTG and Teams PCC going down the drain. Let me know in the comment section what you think of both of those. Leave a like if you want more Supercard content. And of course, subscribe because that's what's cool. I'll catch you guys soon. And most importantly, don't leave!